Welcome everyone. This is an absolute beginner's tutorial in Entity Framework. We are going to create a point of sale for a coffee shop to introduce CRUD operations using Entity Framework. And initially it's going to be a very simple and very small application just to get you started. But the idea is to keep adding functionalities to this app so that we can introduce more complex topics in Entity Framework. So in this first lesson, Let's create the project. We're going to create a console application. So in Visual Studio, choose create new project and then console application. And in this video, it's looking like I'm choosing ASP.NET Core Web API, but I'm not, I'm choosing console application. And in the next window, in the configure your new project window, choose your project name and where it's gonna live. And I like to create very clear names. So the name for my project will be framework, so that it tells exactly what it is. And I'm using my study projects folder for that. Here I'm choosing the latest version of .NET Framework as of this recording, which is .NET 7. And that's it, the project is created. And in this first lesson, instead of jumping straight into Entity Framework, Let's create the menu for our application. And for that, we're going to use a library called spectre.console, which has many interesting components for dealing with console applications in C-Sharp. And it provides a great user experience and it's very easy to develop as well. So if you don't know it yet, I think you're going to get addicted to it once you use it for the first time. So for that, we need to bring in a NuGet package. So on the top menu, choose tools and then NuGet package manager. And in the sub menu, choose manage NuGet packages for solution. That will bring in a different window where you're going to search for the spectre.console library. So click on browse and in the text field type spectre. And it's the first in the list, spectre.console. Then choose the project, which is only one at the moment. Choose install and I accept. Once that is done, we can start writing code. So let's create an enumeration with the menu options that we're gonna have in our app. So let's write enum. The name of this enum will be menu options. And the options will be add product, delete product, update product, view product, view all products, and quit. Then we're gonna use Spectre to collect the input from the user based on those menu options. So we're gonna say var option equals ncconsole.prompt and we're gonna pass a new selection prompt which has as a type the menu options. And then we're gonna call a method called title which will contain the title obviously and we're gonna say, what would you like to do? Then we need to add the choices and the choices will be every choice in the enumeration. And I forgot to add the quit option, but we're gonna do that later. Now, I don't want to spend too much time explaining the code related to spectre.console because that's a library and you can find the documentation for this library in the links below. But since the objective of this tutorial is to teach any framework, I'm not going to spend any time talking about how this library works. Now we're going to create a different layer. We're going to right click on the project and choose add and class. And we're going to name this class product controller and that's where the interactions with the database will live and for now we're gonna leave it empty first let's clean it up a little bit we're gonna use the semicolon beside the namespace which reduces one line of indentation and we're gonna remove all using statements and you can do that by clicking on this brush icon which amongst other things removes unused usings. So it's a bit tidier now. We can go back to the program.cs class. And here we're going to create a switch statement based on this option variable where I'm storing the option chosen by the user. So here I'm saying switch based on the option and each case will be one of the options. 
and in the first case menu options dot add product we're going to call a method in the product controller called add product and we can't forget to use the break statement so that we can break out of the switch statement and also we need to bring in the coffee shop dot point of sale dot any framework namespace so that we can use the product controller class and obviously i haven't created the add product method or any method in the product controller hence we have this squiggly red line but let's write something similar for each of the options Once that's done, I can hover over the method name and choose the target icon and then click on generate method add product, which will do exactly what it says. And let's do the same for all the other methods. And these methods are being created in the controller class. And to finalize this lesson, let's create a loop that will contain this menu so this is going to be a while loop which will depend on a boolean called is app running while this boolean is true the menu will keep running so we need to move all of the code in the menu to inside the code block of the loop so i copy and pasted it and then deleted from outside of the loop so let's test the application to see how it's working at the moment i can see the menu and I can select using the arrows, which is a very nice user experience for a simple console app. And if I choose one of the options, an exception is thrown. And that's because when we generate a method using Visual Studio's refactoring tool, it's created throwing a not implemented exception by default. So that's it. If you have a bit of experience with C Sharp, this lesson should be straightforward. If you're just getting started with C Sharp, this lesson might have been a little bit advanced since we use loops, methods, create a new class, an enumeration. So these aren't absolute beginner concepts in C Sharp. So I suggest you go have a look at those topics first since Entity Framework isn't a topic for absolute beginners. But in the next lesson, we will start using Entity Framework.